we come here, we know everybody. We know the people who are at the front desk, we know the people behind the scenes, and they know us individually. They know our kids, they know, you know, they know our neighbors, they know our friends. So I think that this, this library in particular is like a family more than a service. You know, having that book or that item that, you know, that really just filled that niche, that's important to me. Founded in 1914, the Village of Worth is located 20 miles southwest of the Chicago Loop and has more than 11,000 residents. Known as the Friendly Village, Worth is home to many working class families, has two grade schools, a junior high, a park district, and a public library. The Worth Public Library had its beginnings in the basement of Dolores and Donald Goodline's home at 7008 West 114th Street. With the help of friends, neighbors, and donations of hundreds of books, the Goodline Library began circulating books in December of 1956. The need for more space and more books soon became apparent. So in 1961, after much planning and renovation, the Worth Village Library opened its doors in the basement of the Village Hall. I recall when it was over at the Village Hall, in fact I helped uh, type up some of the card catalogs. And that was my first introduction into it. And, and uh, um, it was so small, but my kids used it at that time when uh, they had to have a particular book. Due to the continual growth of the library, it was determined that a new location would be needed. Property at 6915-6917 West 111th Street, the site of Worth's first homestead, was purchased. After several defeats, a referendum was passed and construction of a new library began in 1970. Construction of a two-story addition began in 1977 after the passage of another referendum. The library has been serving patrons in its current location since 1971. Today, the library is home to more than 47,000 books. It provides nearly 200 newspaper and magazine subscriptions, 1,600 audio recordings, 2,400 DVDs and videos, and access to more than 20 licensed databases that help patrons research everything from health issues to comparative shopping to car repairs to writing a will. When I started, we had one computer. It sat on my desk. It was Windows 3.1. It had absolutely no programs on it. So now everybody in the library has a computer. We have five computers for the patients when we started out with zero. Libraries fulfill needs within the community for information, for um, education, for people who want to continue their education all through their lives. For a lot of people, especially for their children, this is one of the few places they can go and the children can do something that doesn't cost any money for them to do it. We're really one of the few free resources that people have available to them. The library is also a member of the Metropolitan Library System, which gives Worth's library cardholders access to materials throughout the Chicago suburbs. And I use a lot of the services um, for medical books and prevention books for health and things like that. They go get me magazines and DVDs and everything they order me, anything I need. More than 7,500 interlibrary loans were processed through the Worth Library last year, in addition to the nearly 55,000 checkouts from its own collection. I need some information on the city of Chicago. The reference librarians answer nearly 17,000 questions a year, helping students complete class assignments and other patrons find important information, such as recipes, how to choose a college, teaching resources, and professional development. Well, the reference questions vary from I, I would like this book and what's the next book in this series to um, what's the scientific name of a grizzly bear. But the Worth Library is about more than just books and research. Throughout the year, the library offers programs for children of all ages. A page paper. All right, let's see what we can get. I this love the fact that I can go anywhere and it's like, Mr. Dan, how you, and I can sit there and talk to kids about things that they enjoy. 
um, get them into the library. Uh, I have kids now, you know, that started, they were 12 years old, now they're full grown adults, and they'll come back and talk to me about what they're doing with their lives and how, you know, reading was so important to them growing up, and that's why they feel successful. And I, I love hearing that. It makes me feel like I am doing something very significant. Story times for toddlers and preschoolers are offered year round. There is the popular crafts program for school age children, and teens and tweens can compete in the frequent video game tournaments. And children of all ages can participate in the summer reading program, which helps keep their reading skills fresh. I really think we've been very successful with our programs where, I, I mean, it seems every week I have new kids that I've never seen before, and it's like, well, I heard this was going on at the library. Um, so there's always a new face to introduce myself to. Uh, and to me, that, that speaks volumes of what we're doing. If we keep getting new people every week, then, well, we're doing something right. Adults are able to participate in educational lectures on subjects as diverse as sculpture, old-time radio programs, and gardening. We try to offer at least a gardening program a couple times a year, and uh, we've offered phone, um, a phone bill workshop where people could come in and talk to uh, representatives from Cub about how to best meet their needs for phone service. We have offered the um, reading club for, this, I think, almost 10 years. If you put the stack of books together, the ladies have discussed. We select books that maybe perhaps I wouldn't normally select myself, but you do read it because you have an obligation to read it. And uh, sometimes it's really an eye-opener, and uh, I particularly enjoy that. And of course, there is the annual ice cream social, where everyone in the village is invited to join the fun. The library staff works hard to ensure that the library collection is up to date and interesting to as many residents as possible. As funds are available, the staff reviews requests for new materials made by residents. They also keep up with the latest trends in library science and information technology to help determine which materials and services will best serve the greatest number of library patrons. But we just can't do everything that we want to do. Uh, if we want to provide all these services and do our, our collection development, uh, we need people to help us out. In the coming years, we'd like to be able to use our space, uh, the existing space that we have, in the most efficient way possible. And the building is over 30 years old, so we have um, needs within the building, carpeting, painting, and trying to make accommodation for the computers that um, the public wants to have. Everybody has a need and you try to, to meet at least some of them in every, for every person. For 45 years, the Worth Public Library has been a resource for the residents of the community. It's a place for learning, for entertainment, and for families. You know, we come here and we know everybody, everybody's friends. This is the first library that we've actually been involved in that is like that. Yes. That is, um, like you said, like a little family. We fill such a huge void. I mean, you can get anything you need here. Anything. Whether it be your DVDs, music, literature, you can get games, you can get anything you need. Um, and by providing programs in addition to the materials, I think we cover a lot of bases. I think they're absolutely essential. It really does try to accommodate the patrons. I don't have any complaints. They're very, very, very nice.